Hey guys, it's Katie. So what can I say? I'm a shopaholic. So let's get into the stuff that I've bought over the last couple weeks. First, I went to MAC, good old MAC. I had a few back to MAC items to recycle or whatever. So I picked up two lipsticks. First, I got Velvet Teddy which is just this lovely, classic, very matte, nudie, pinky brown. It's lovely. I also picked up the shade Brave while I was there, which is I think kind of in that same ballpark of shades. Yeah, nude, pink, a little bit more pink, and this one is a satin finish. It's that one right there. Also, to my delight, while I was there, they had just brought out this cute little collection which was their it's like their summer collection and they brought back out the fix plus sprays in this sense i know they had those a few years ago i think and i didn't get my hands on any of them but this time they brought it out again so i picked up the travel size coconut one and they put it in the cutest sparkly black packaging and it's just a little i think the bottle itself is just regular yeah just like a little um fix plus in the coconut scent so i'm excited for that Next, I have a few things from Forever 21. Don't make fun of me, but these are on hangers right now. So this one was so funny. It was just this little t-shirt that was like $9, and it looks straight from the 90s. And it's pink and glittery, and it just says, yes you do, yes you do, yes you do. And my friend Jojo was like, that's so you, Katie. Like, you're such a brat. Like, yes you do, yes you do. So he made me get it, and I was like, I think that's an insult, but okay, thanks. Then I picked this shirt up, which is totally like grandpa, dad on vacation vibes, and I'm obsessed with it. It's this cropped little like button up with palm trees all over it, and I really, really love this. The other thing that I bought with it, and I had tried it on at the time that looked so cute, were these. These are just some um, distressed boyfriend jeans, which are really in right now. So they're pretty light colored and they have lots of holes in them and they're high-waisted really really loose comfy baggy feel the last thing i got at forever 21 i just couldn't say no to this it's a little like whimsical and uh trendy or like kitschy like maybe not super classic but whatever it's cheap forever 21 it's this little cropped sweatshirt or jumper as my english friends would say and it has dinosaurs all over it you know it's like i don't know i didn't want it to be too cropped you know like I can play with that a little bit but not too much but it's so soft and cute and that looks like um what's his name from from Rugrats what is that dinosaur's name from Rugrats Reptar Reptar yeah Reptar I think that's what that reminds me of okay I also went to Bath and Body Works with my friend David recently and we just picked up we because we both got it a ton of the gentle foaming hand soaps that's my favorite formula of hand soaps and it sounds silly but it just makes me so happy how they have so many seasonal scents of everything and I love to have just like that little seasonal pop in like your bathroom and kitchen so the one that I'm using right now that I just pulled from my sink but I just got it is this guy it's called happy Easter how cute it's cotton candy scented oh smells so good then just really quickly I also got Perfectly Peaches and Cream, Sweet Sunrise Mimosa, yes please. Black Cherry Merlot, which is good for any time of year. French Lavender, also good for any time of year. And then Maui Mai Tai, which I thought would be perfect for summer. Then the other day, me and Travis were exploring around LA and we went to a place that I've been wanting to go to for a long time. I think I first started hearing Ingrid Nielsen here on YouTube talk about it. And it is Compartes the Chocolatier. Uh, we got four chocolate bars, so just feast your eyes on these amazing looking chocolate bars. Now I'm going to have to eat these, but I just pulled these out. Long story short, it's a Los Angeles chocolate shop that clearly the packaging is just stunning. They're very expensive or like overpriced, but they're really good quality. Like, okay, so this one is California Dreaming, dark chocolate and brownies, and how cute is a little bear on the surfboard. This one is called Donuts and Coffee. Two of my favorite things and it's milk chocolate with literal donuts and coffee inside this one is cereal bowl and it is white chocolate with marshmallows cornflakes and cereal so basically lucky charms inside and then this guy has unicorns on it which if anybody knows i really love unicorns and this is milk chocolate caramelized waffle cone again they're expensive they're like at least ten dollars a piece but it's so fun if you ever get a chance to go to the actual store i recommend it they also have truffles and it's just like it's like a chocolate boutique and it just feels really luxe. And I also think these, slow down Katie, whoo. I also think these would be an amazing gift. Like they're just so pretty, a great stocking stuffer. 
something like that. Also in LA, we went to Venice and like Abbott Kinney Street or the Abbott Kinney area, I don't know. And they had a Pixie Beauty store there, which was very exciting. A lot of people rave and rave about Pixie Beauty. I've only tried a couple of their things, but they had a full-blown store there. And how cute is that? I just love going to like actual stores and getting like the actual store's bag. You know, I don't know, the little things. But um, Travis was the sweetest and he bought me this because he saw me looking at it. It's just a little trio of travel size of like some of their best sellers. So it's the Glow Mud Cleanser, which is a deep purifying cleanser, the Glow Tonic, which is an exfoliating toner, and then the Glow Mud Mask. People are obsessed with this Glow Toner, the Glow Tonic. I travel a lot, so travel size things are always great and it's a good way to try everything. So I'm really excited to dig into that. What else? This is super random, but I ordered this off of Birchbox because I had points. So let me open this. I had points, so basically this was free. Not basically, it was. And people talk about these all the time and it's kind of like seems a little silly to spend your money on it even though it's not that expensive really but because I had like an opportunity to get something for free I was like well, let's try this these are the Shiseido facial cottons so I think OMG it's open right here they're really soft Wow okay so I think they're just like in a little rectangle and you use these to like you know, eye makeup remover or toner or I use micellar cleansing water. I, I use a lot of liquid products that I put on like a little pad and rub on my face. And I think the idea with these is that they're so soft and gentle on your skin. Oh wow, I, I might be a convert after this. Everyone says that, like once you try them, you, you never go back. So I think the pack's like $10 or something like that. It might be less. I don't know, I'll link everything below, but um, I'm really excited to give these a go. Just a few more things. Um, I went to Kiehl's yesterday and I picked up, well, you know, I turn uh, 28 in four days. <laughs> so I picked up the Kiehl's Powerful Wrinkle Reducing Eye Cream and it has copper and calcium, visibly repairs wrinkles and refines texture. Um, I've always tried to be like pretty good with skincare and like sun protection and hydration and all that, but. I mean, I laugh a lot, I smile a lot, which I think is good, but that also means that I have little fine lines by my eyes and they're not gonna go down anytime soon. You know, they're only gonna heighten from here. So I figured it was time to like really kickstart it with a wrinkle reducing cream. And Kiehl's is an amazing brand that I love. So this one was the one that I opted for. Additionally, based on lots of recommendations from the girls in the store, I picked this guy up, which is the Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. Now normally I don't like to get travel size, I would have wanted to get the big size because I like more value for your buck, but I was only like $2 away from getting like a $10 reward or you know, they suck you in with all that stuff. So I was like okay fine because I was kind of on the fence about trying this. So this is the travel size. This guy was 13 bucks so it's not like super cheap but again I travel a lot so I actually in my head I'm like okay it's not just a value thing it's like a convenience thing like I need face washes and stuff. The calendula one is supposed to be perfect for combo skin which is definitely what I have. If you ever go to a Kiehl's, I love Kiehl's so if you're not familiar and you want to get to know more about the brand or about skincare, I highly recommend going in there. They're all really friendly and really knowledgeable and they will like test your hydration level in your skin and they'll give you like a whole regimen, but they're not too pushy. Like it, Kiehl's is amazing. So they tell me that I'm combo. I'm very, or not very, but like oily in my T-zone and real dry on my cheeks and my skin overall is dehydrated. So this is supposed to be calming, soothing and balancing. So. I'll report back to you. Then because again, my birthday's in four days or whatever, this was the free birthday gift. So it's the Kiehl's Lip Balm, full size. I got mine. So they have mango, mint, and cranberry, and then plain. So I chose the mango. So seems promising. It smells really good and it's like a nice thick lip balm. So thank you, Kiehl's. Speaking of birthdays, I got myself a little gift to myself. I went into Jonathan Adler the other day at Fashion Island. And I got this, which is a match strike. So I love candles, I'm addicted. I like to light them all the time. With that being said, you need to have a way to light them, whether it's matches or a lighter or whatever. Bic lighters are not exactly the cutest things I've ever seen in my life, and neither are just like the affordable match boxes. You know, you can go get the cute ones, but then you have to repurchase those. So I was looking into getting a match strike 
Well, Jonathan Adler has a bunch of them and their stuff is pretty quirky, but this one I thought was the cutest. So this is the ice cream matte stray. It was literally shaped like an ice cream cone or like a hand holding an ice cream cone. Let me show you. Now a match strike is something that it's just an object that sits there and then the object itself is where you strike your matches. So I do need to purchase matches. They just fit right into this and then like that's that. So there's all this like fluffy stuff here. Oh, how cute on the bottom it says Jonathan Adler. Oh, so adorable. So it looks like this. It's a hand holding a freaking ice cream cone and then you put your matches in there and then you just strike it anywhere on the figure. And I just thought like Jonathan Adler is like a nice kind of luxury designer brand. It was like a little gift to myself. It wasn't too expensive. And I just thought that'd be a perfect solution to not needing to have like your big lighter out on the, on the counter at all times. You know what I mean? So I love that. And then I'm in a hurry because this battery's dying. These were a little find that my coworker John found. These are Ray-Bans that have denim on the sides and they're just the classic Wayfarer. And these were 20 bucks at the Bloomingdale's outlet. Like who doesn't want Ray-Bans for 20 bucks? So here they are. And last, yesterday I went to Nordstrom and I got, well I ordered this really cute off the shoulder black um, top from Topshop, although off the shoulder is really annoying. <laughs> but they had to send it to me because they were out of it in my size. But I did pick this up, which is just an oversized Ivy Park t-shirt in gray. This is a medium, but look how freaking big that is. It's really soft. I don't think I'm gonna use it for working out, although Ivy Park is like a workout brand and I have a few of their workout clo clothing pieces. I'm gonna use that like over leggings with like a cool um, leather jacket or a denim jacket, something like that. It just, it was on sale, it was speaking to me, and I had that shopping itch, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's everything, I hope so. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited to try all my new goodies, random all over the place, you know, skincare, clothing, all that. So uh, I'm gonna go now, clean up this mess, and charge this camera. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're well. I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.